Hi guys, welcome back. So in today's video, we're gonna be upgrading this B9 S4 with a bunch of different tuning parts. First things first, we've got the Scorpion non-resonated exhaust system with some quad Daytona tips on the back as well. So that's gonna improve the rear end aesthetic and also the exhaust tone and volume. And then we've got an ECS tuning intake going on as well. So that's gonna allow the engine to breathe a little bit better and release a lot of those hidden um, turbo and engine notes. And then finally, we're gonna round that all off with a APR ECU and TCU software, which is gonna improve the fuel and ignition boost, all the other maps inside the ECU to increase the power output. And on these cars, you get a very significant gain. So we're looking forward to getting all these bits and pieces added to the car. Obviously, if you're interested in any of the bits that we talk about in this video, you can um, ask any questions in the comments and then also head to the description where you can find all of our contact details. So first things first, we're gonna see what the car sounds like now. And then we're gonna get the car on the dyno, see how much power it's making, standard, bring it into the workshop, add on all of the exhaust system, the intake, and then pop it back on the dyno later um, to see exactly what kind of power it's making after the tuning. So we'll see you at the end of the video. Okay, so we have the graph up here behind us, we finished off tuning the car. So the red lines as the car arrives and the blue lines as it leaves us today. So one thing to note about this particular tune on this car is using very low quality or, or low octane fuel because the customer is from the Isle of Man and you can really see and why you need to be running a high octane fuel in the grass behind us. So car came in, made pretty much bang on the standard um, factory quoted power, so maybe about 350 horsepower and 545 new meters of torque and obviously with the APR ECU software optimizing like fuel and ignition boost all the other maps inside the ECU to increase the power output which is exactly what's been done on the blue graph with um, these lines here being the horsepower and then these lines here being the torque and you can really see in the higher end of the rev range the torque starts to 
um, taper off quite a bit and that is because the engine is not limited because of the fuel so then we can't increase the torque in the medium to high rev range that, in, that means that we're not hitting sort of like the 450 horsepower is what you could hit with high octane fuel so this speaks to the customer still going away with about 281 horsepower and over 700 newton meters of torque as well so still a colossal difference before and after obviously if you don't have good fuel quality or high octane um, fuel around you you can still enjoy some big gains like this but for those that are running the higher octane like the 99s and 98s you're going to experience even better gains than this um, yeah so i hope you enjoyed this one see you on the next one thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it then please give us a thumbs up if you'd like to watch other videos of ours that youtube thinks you'll like then click up here if you'd like to watch some other videos that we have in the same playlist then click here and obviously if you enjoyed the video then we really appreciate if you gave us a subscription um, and then obviously you'll be updated when other videos of ours go live and you can do that quite easily by clicking here hope to see you soon